Hi guys, and welcome to back my uh, Rise of the Foxes Leicester City save. Uh, this is the fifth episode, and we are currently at at half halfway through our second season. Like you see, third of February 2015. So let's start off watching what kind of transfers I have made in that tran January transfer window. So like you see. Uh, no new players have arrived in Leicester City squad. Um, I though sell a couple of players. David Nugget, Nugent, he was our third choice of striker and his contract was ending at the end of the season. So this way I at least gain some money. 100k for him is a decent amount. So I sold him to Norwich. Then our backup midfielder Dean Hammond, uh, I loaned him for uh, to Brentford. Uh, also loaned Joseph Dodo to Hyde. He is one of our youngsters. Then the big, uh, big sell. West Ham approached me for uh, Andy for Andy King. So 5.25 million for him is a um, good amount of money. So yeah, I sold him to West Ham. So no, uh, no players came in. I didn't see any point of bringing new players because uh, true, in fact, our, our season have been very hard so far. There was many player, new players coming in to our squad so so our form, form at, the end, uh, at the beginning of the season wasn't so good. So if we look uh, that where we are, we are at fifth position which is actually quite good. Good. Uh, 24 games, 9 wins. 11 draws, 4 losses, plus 8 in goal difference, 38 points, so we are, we are far behind the leading team Tottenham, uh, 6 point, uh, I'm sorry, 5 points to second place Tottenham, uh, surprisingly West Ham is third, Arsenal is above us, 2 points, ahead. Uh, Stoke is behind us. Same points there. Then seven, Man United is 7th. Everton 8th. QPR 9th. Chelsea, Liverpool. West Brom, Wolves. Crystal Palace. Aston Villa, Newcastle, Hull. And at the bottom at the moment we can Huddersfield and Sunderland. So yeah, let's look up about our games so far. Um, we start our season against Man United, loss 2 nil away. Then got nice 2, win, two nil win over Southampton and uh, again Chris Smalling pays a little bit back. For that he didn't sign for us with our own goal and newly signed central defender that Boyata got the winner goal 88 minute there. Then, like you see, we played 11 draws so far, which is quite a, quite a few there and um, to be honest, I would like to I would have liked to win most of those games. There are a um, couple of games which particularly were n not so good. Uh, like this first draw 1-1 one, one against Huddersfield. Like you see Anthony Knockhart scored that equalizer in 
91st minute. Um, probably it's, it's because there were so many new players, like you see here, uh, Robert Hart, Mati Anastasic, Jack Rodwell, uh, Nazar... Uh, was it Nazar Sadli, new player? I, I can't remember. Then there is Tedrick Boyata, Didier Drogba. So that team cohesion is not so good. Uh, the players won't know our tactics at the beginning of the season, so probably those things affect our results. So like you see, we didn't create so many chances. We got uh, slightly that possession in our, our way. Uh, got five shots on target, but only managed to score once. So, uh, once there, so kind of disappointing. Then another draw against Aston Villa, 1-1. One, one. Nasser Chatley, then um, West Ham, one of those teams at the bottom. Um, uh, I'm sorry, one of those teams that are surprisingly high this moment. Uh, nil nil draw away. Uh, how did we do, do there? Uh, yeah, only one shot at uh, on goal. Uh, slightly possession on West Ham side. So. At the beginning of the season, we didn't create many chances, but uh, still managed to uh, draw those games. So that is good. Um, only four losses on that period of time. Um, one of the draws against Tottenham 2-2. That was quite a good game. Like you saw, Tottenham is at the top of the da table. Quite convincing run there, got there, and Harry Kane yeah, got two goals for them. Shane Long and Sam Byram, all goal scorers. Uh, at this game, we managed to get a decent amount of shots on goal, equals to Tottenham. So yeah, that was good draw. Then again, nil nil against Tottenham. Uh, at home, uh, at away, only two shots on target, so not so good. Good. Then uh, managed to get our second win, 3-1 over Sunderland, which is at the bottom. Shane Long, Mark Albrighton, and Jim Carragan. Then again, pro 2-2 against West Brom, Brown Eddy on goal and Matti Anastasis. Uh, then 3-2 win over Chelsea. John Joe Shelby, Marco Marin, and Mark Albrighton. That winning goal in 92nd minute. Um, then again, nil nil draw against Stoke. Um, at home, these home games I would really like, uh, would like to win. Because uh, it's, it's easier to play at home than away, if you know what I mean. But yeah. 60% uh, pro of possession there and uh, 11 shots, only 3 on target. So it's hard to uh, hard to win if you cannot shoot on target. Uh, then win, a 2 0 win over uh, Hull, Paul Konczelski and Didier Drogba. His first goal of the season. Uh, then Wigan, against Wigan, 2 2 draw, again a draw. Anthony Knockout and Matija Nastasic. 1-1 uh, draw against Crystal Palace. Shane Long in 87th minute. Um, we had a, quite a few of those with late equalizer. Yeah, again a home game. Plenty of possession, but yet they had a more shots and more shots on target. Uh, then we lost 3-2 against Arsenal, Shane Long and Robert Hart. <coughs> Sorry. Then 2-1 win over Liverpool, Tedrick Boyata and Didier Drogba. 3-1 uh, win over uh, Wolves, Shane Long got 2 and Marco Morin 1. Then 2-0 win, uh, sorry, 2-0 loss against Newcastle. Yet again, ah, uh, this was a very disappointing game. We got decent amount of, um, amount of such. We create more chances on this this game, and but yet they got nine shots on target and two goals. We 
we we didn't manage to score at all. So yeah, we really disappointing loss. Then again, this is a fourth or fifth nil nil game uh, against QPR at home. Um, ten shots, two on target. So yeah, again, it's hard to win when you are sh uh, your shots is not going into target. So yeah, then a slightly better form. Managed to grab some wins. 2-1 over Southampton, Shane Long and Mark Albrighton. 2-0 uh, over Man United, Marco Marin and John Joe Shelby. 10-2-0 win over uh, Huddersfield, Shane Long got praised there. Uh, <coughs> then a couple of disappointing games against Aston Villa, which is one of those bottom teams. 2-2 two -two draw, Mark Albrighton and Shane Long. And yeah. Uh, they got uh, that equalizer at 75th minute. Our defen uh, defenders didn't play very well at this game. 6.6, uh, 6.5, 6.6 .6, and 6.7 <coughs> ratings there. Uh, decent amount of uh, chances created. Slightly possession in over, but yeah, again a draw. Then this last game, really disappointing home defeat against um, West Ham, which have played really good. In their Valencia and Stuart Downing scores there. Um, plenty of possession in our way. 13 shots, 5 on target. They got only 4 on target and managed to score 2. So, Teddy uh, Poyata didn't uh, have that good. Uh, Good game, 6.4 average rating there. Um, others um, quite a high ratings there, 6.7, 6.7, and 6.8. Surprisingly high. Uh, Alex Mitty has got 6.9 average rating also. So, but yeah, really, really disappointing defeat at home. There. <coughs> uh, next. Uh, we could look at Capital One Cup, which we did win in last year. Third round, convincing 3-1, uh, uh, sorry, 4-1 win over Wolves, Anthony Knockhart, Marco Marin, Danny Drink Drinkwater, and Paul Koncheski got scores there. <coughs> then 4-0 win over Nottingham Forest at home. Paul Gallagher, Nazar Zadli, Kenneth McAvoy and Liam Moore. Then 1-0 win over uh, over Peter, Por Peter Poro at quarter-final, Shane Long at only goal. Then uh, we draw against Tottenham in semi-finals. That first leg was good away, draw 1-1, Shane Long got that goal. Then, like you see, we lost 1-2 uh, in our home game. I was thinking that if we could draw 0-0, nil -nil, that they were uh, 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 take account those away goals and we would go through. But no, the game ended though 0-0. Nil -nil, and I was thinking that we, we go through with that away goal. but. Uh, Surprisingly, in Capital One Cup, there there is no meaning of that away goal. So the game did go in overtime, and I have already used all our subs. So players got tired, like you see, Tottenham got better conditions on the, their players than we did, and yeah, Eric Lamela scored in 99th minute. We managed to. Draw back in straight away, and but Sandra got that winning goal in first overtime minute. But yeah, we won that Capital One Cup last year, so I'm not so so bummed on that. Um, yeah, Tottenham go through to the final and face Arsenal like we did in last year, but. Uh, good games though there. Then FA Cup 
uh, we are still on it. Managed to win Bolton in third round at home, three 0 Robert Hart, Marco Marin and Didier Drogba. Then in fourth round draw <coughs> we draw against Palace. Uh, we played one one away. Mark Albrighton managed to get that equalization in 88 minutes and yeah <coughs> next month we play that replay against them yeah and then like you remember well, we were at Europa League on that third qualifying round we managed to beat Inverness home 5-1 Jem Garagan, Shane Long got hat-trick and Kenneth McAvoy won. Then away we won 2-1. Didier Drogba and Liam Moore scorers. Then we uh, were thrown against uh, uh, Rabbit Bean. Uh, we lost away 1-0. That was pretty, pretty bad result. Uh, they probably scored in their first shot, so we got that possession slightly. Managed to get 15 shots, but only four on target. <coughs> Sorry. So w was really disappointed after that game. But yeah, in home game we crushed it. We rapid win 6-1. So Shane Long got hat trick. Marco Albrecht on two and Marco Marin one. And we managed to manage to get that group stage, but what was on our target on this season? So, like you see, in uh, in that group stage, we only draw one game, so uh, we go through at the winner of the group. Lyon was the second team team to qualify. First game against Rijeka, 2-1 win, Shen Long and Marco Marin. Then 5-2 win at home against Park, Carl Norton, uh, Ineko Lopez goals on goal, Mati Anastasic and Shane Long got two. Uh, then good win over Lyon at home, Didier Drogba, Marco Albrecht and Marco Marin. Then we draw 1-1 against Lyon away game, Marco Albrecht and Score there, then 1 nil win over Rijeka at home, Didier Drogba. Uh, then the last group stage game against Pauk, 2 1 win away, Shane Long and Liam Moore. And on that first knockout round, we drawn against Sporting, uh, that strong Portuguese team. At the moment, they are. No, I. I don't have that league loaded, so don't know where they are standing at the moment. <coughs> but yeah, they are a strong team, but I think that we have good chance to go through there. And if we do, in second uh, knockout round we face either Stuttgart or Derek Krosny. Oh, sorry, uh, Stuttgart or Spartak Moscow look it wrong there but yeah those are the games what else we could talk about um, not much more uh, uh, there is at the moment not so many subscribers on uh, on my channel uh, therefore I just join it on Twitter you could find that uh, link on my Twitter account on the details of this video so yeah please uh, subscribe and like this video if you like to see more thank for those few subscribers who have done that uh, give a tweet on Twitter anything um, I have already pre-ordered that FM15, so probably going to gonna continue these videos on that game also. So this is one kind of practice for me. So yeah, subscribe and like and 
we see you next time at the end of the season. So thank you for watching and bye.